My name is Jonathan Silver, and I'm the Associate Artistic Director at Art and Theatre Company. Thanks so much for joining us for our new online series, Up Close. Today, I'm excited to look back at one of Arden's most cherished children's theater shows, A Year with Frog and Toad, and connect with the two actors who starred in the 2005, 2009, and 2017 productions. Joining me are Jeff Kuhn and Ben Dibble as we discuss Frog and Toad through the years. Hello, Toad! Hello, Frog! What are you doing in my dreams? Uh, honey, I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh. Well, it certainly is nice to see you. I feel the same way. Well, hey, Ben. Hey, Jeff. Hey, hey. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> I know this is, uh, like we were saying, a bit of a loaded question, but how are you both doing in these times right now? The weather is terrible. Yes, it is a dark and stormy night. I mean, uh, I think we're as, as good as can be expected. Um, Online schooling is tough, man. I got like mad props to every teacher out there because it, it is not easy. Man, this distance learning is for the birds. <laughs> and I, I'm not saying that because of our little play, but it like literally it's, I don't know how they get through it, but I guess they're, you know, being 12 and 13, they're more well-versed with this world. They're digital of, natives, baby. A, digital yeah, natives. exactly. <laughs> So we're, we're really uh, thrilled that you're joining us and we're uh, sort of focusing on your time as Frog and Toad through the years in 05, 09, and 17. Frog is the frog, Toad is the It's toad. been one of the most treasured art and children's theater shows in the art and history. And we all definitely credit the both of you for keeping that story so alive and vibrant. Not only uh, your work on stage, but your true friendship shows so brightly uh, in those productions. First of all, what makes it so special? What makes Art in Children's Theater so special to perform in and to experience? Well, I think, um, you know, one of the things, having worked with Wit McLaughlin on Frog and Toad three times, then I think I did three other of the children's theater or family productions with him, is that what he does is he really instills everything with a sense of stakes and meaning. So there's yeah. no sense of like, we're just kids in a play. How will we ever know when it is time to take the cookies out? Hi, Toad. Oh, hello, Mouse. They're exhausting to do as an actor because you're playing... <sighs> absolute like high state like that cookies number let's have more oh no 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 toad we must do something i know get me a box and some string like to do the show and do it justice like it requires a level of energy and commitment cookies 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 i go cookies eating cookies maybe you should stop that i think comes through just one more no 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 because then if you're two and you're watching people like live and die in front of you like something clicks like you get Right? Yeah. Like, like they're friends, they fight, and then they're friends again. Like it's that simple at the core of it, but the complexity with which you're able to sort of explore that and allow it to have an adult level complexity of sort of emotion <laughs> and, and discovery. I mean, I have not seen a lot of comparable family theater. I suppose that is how it is with you and me. In my experience, that, that is able to do that the way the Arden has been able to. It takes kids seriously. Mm -hmm. um, it meets them where they are and addresses things in a way that is digestible and entertaining, but not dumbed down. It is a perfect night for something. You know what it is? A cup of tea. Well, yes, that, but also... You know, every time we've now done... For something else. Frog and Toad three times, and there was, I guess, what, four years between the first two and eight years between the next one. Yeah. <clears throat> and every... The second time and the third time, people would come, you know, and they'd be like, oh, this is my kid who was five when he did it last time, and now he's bringing his friends. They're all heading to middle school, but they're just right. And then this last time we did it, we had families with, like, adult college age and young 20s children who, who were the ones who said, we have to see this again, and traveled back to Philadelphia with their parents to come see it. You know, but, like, I have a picture somewhere in my iPhoto of, of uh, Jeff's kids and Jonah during tech all sitting around the campfire because we had to the bring campfire. our kids to The campfire, yes. You know. And like Amy, that's Margaret who's sitting next to me. Say hi, Margaret. <laughs> it's also a really good show. Paris. Like the bones of it. Go very well, Frog. I will go for it. Uh, Robert and Willie, the brothers who wrote it and adapted it, uh, had they just did a fantastic job with it's tremendous with making it a really good piece of theater. 
down the hill, we are sliding down the hill, gently gliding down the hill. It's just, it, I have to agree with Jeff in a second, and it's, it's one of the finest written musicals in the last 30 years. Um, it doesn't get a ton of credit because it is intended for all audiences, but I, like, you know, the complexity of that score, the music is far more complex than it sounds because it's so tuneful, but like, you look at that score and it is really thoroughly written, you know, and there's not a, a moment or a note wasted. Uh, the script is so economical. It, it's like a Swiss clock and it will work. It's a clock! Yes, and it keeps very good time. I needed a clock. I know you did, Toad. I always felt that way with that show. No matter how much I might be sitting in the house, half awake, like cursing my life, <laughs> you know, as that house turns around and you feel the gasp of the kids and the magic of that, and then all of a sudden the light, and it just, you know, it just goes from there. It's really amazing in that way. I'd like to sing a little old about my good friend Tony. This show, because of the way it's sort of spaced out when we did it and with, you know, both Jeff and I have talked about this, our lives in terms of how our families grew over the time between the productions. I mean, for me, the show is so inextricably linked with my sort of journey as like a artist slash father, because it was like my kids were all alive the second time we did it, but they were babies. And so the show had a different resonance for me as an actor. And then mm -hmm. the next time they were old enough to be part of it. And so the importance of being able to, to fold them into our work in a way that we don't always get to. Because if you're doing some shows are a little too, you know, intellectual or a little too, you know, adult or like too scary, you know, who knows? Who are you? I am the large and terrible frog. I, I always love the like the, the sort of basis of the production is all like absolutely simple mechanical effects. Yeah. Like there was no real trickery. There wasn't fancy lighting effects. It was like the fact that the large and terrible frog, which in the original script, I think it says it should, it's, it, it intimates maybe it's a puppet or something. Yeah. There's some sort of intimation. Maybe there's a large trick. But the fact that we just did a shadow effect, mm -hmm. right? And the kids just love it. Like they go crazy because it's just two actors and a shadow. And it's like one of my favorite moments in the piece, both because I get to sit down for a second, but also, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> I love watching Jeff jump rope relentlessly <laughs> for a few minutes of show, but also just because it's like the magic of like going just, just with like these two actors stepping and all of a sudden the shadow is where we go. I mean, that's, I yeah. just, every, every time it would get me. I just love it. This is terrible. Well, he is the large and terrible frog. What did you do? What shall I do? What did you do? What shall I do? Whatever did you shall I do? Yeah. The fire pit were just really simple, mm -hmm. but ultimately really cool theatrical effects that I... Now to see if you will the swirling leaves. I love sharing that, and you can do this, you literally can make this mm -hmm. kind of stuff at home. But looking at these, you know, videos reminds me of what, what a gift the show has been over the course of, of my lifetime over, you know, what is it now? 15 at least um that it's it, it really is something that i will always 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 think of with fondness and and gratitude